All right, Brock Thug Yahweh, Brock Thug Yahweh, Sai, Brock Thug Yahweh, Brock Thug Yahweh, Sai, Brock Thug Yahweh, Brock Thug Yahweh, Sai. By Asherah Chakudas, I want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of the Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the Elect. I'm the high spirit we in Judah, and today I want to go into a, a topic called a nation of fools. Okay, because what Esau has cultivated, all right, through something called black culture. All right, is basically a nation of fools, man. All right, and but something that was always on my spirit, you know, um, was the definition of fool. And so I would always ask myself, like, what is the scriptures really talking about when it goes into the word fool? You know, a lot of scriptures and proverbs are right, use the word fool. So the spirit was just actually on me to go into depths of the word fool. So I'm just going to get a scripture that has the word fool, and we're going to look into that word, and we're going to break it down and to see how it applies to our people. Today in Babylon AD. Okay? So this is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. So that in itself says a lot about Jake, man. Alright? America Babylonian Babylonianized Jake. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. So that's an indicator of what a fool is. It's someone who doesn't take heed to counsel. Because their counsel is in their mind. All right? It says, The way of a fool is right in his own uh, eyes. All right? And the, and hearkening unto the counsel. I'm sorry. But he that hearkening unto counsel is wise. All right? So we're just going to get that word fool. Okay? That's why the scripture says, um, A sinful man would not be reproved for he find an excuse to do his own will. That's a, that's a foolish man. All right? So it's it's from the uh, Strong's H, one ninety one, okay. It's gonna get it, and it goes into um, Awayal. I think there's a Awayal, which it breaks down into evil. The transliteration is actually literally evil, for the word fool. But it said a fool to be foolish, foolish, one who despises wisdom. So how many people? Despise the the elders and, and, the, and the brothers in, uh, in in these different camps. How many Israelites walk past the camp as though we don't even exist, or they'll look at us and they'll blow their horn and wave, but they actually don't internalize what we say through the Spirit. All right, which will only better their lives. All right. Then it says, excuse me. Then it says, uh, of one who mocks when guilty, of one who is quarrelsome. So let's look at the word quarrelsome. Someone who is into quarrels. All right. It says quarrelsome. It says, this is of the Miriam Webster's dictionary. Apt or disposed to quarrel. What does that sound like? It sounds like Jake, man. Two thirds of our people. Nigga culture. They, they actually made songs about do what you do, but watch my shoes. All right. Apt or disposed to quarrel in an often petty manner. So, what is a fool? It's somebody that's ready to fight over some bullshit. It's a nigga. It's a nigga. I'm getting, I'm getting apt because I'm like, damn, this, this, this Jake. Motherfuckers, you know, Jake didn't die at gas stations over some bullshit over the counter. Apt or disposed to quarrel in an often petty matter. Contentious. All right, let's see if we get some synonyms for quarrel. Aggressive. Agnostic. I'm sorry. Agonistic. Argumentative. Assaultive. Bellicose, belligerent, which means warlike, brawly, chippy, combative, confrontational. You go to the club, you at a club full of fools. When you was in school, people, that, was a, that was a school full of fools. And this applies to men and women. Because that's our nation. Contentious, discordant, disput disputatious, feisty, gladiatorial. Yeah, that's why the scripture says in Sinrock, um, go not in the way with a bold man. You got to show your honor in all these dumbass situations, man. Militant, pugnacious. Let me look up that word. I don't want to skip over it. <laughs> like the other apostle told us uh, in a video a long time ago, don't be skipping over words. Having a quarrelsome or combative nature. Nigga nature, all right? Scrappy, tr truculent, warlike. That's why the scripture says it's a, it's a time for war and it's a time for peace. But in every, that's what makes a fool a fool that you had his nature in everyday matters. Like you're that guy. 
aggressively self-assertive. All right? That's what uh, truculent means. Let me see if I can pronounce it correctly. Truculent. Truculent, okay. All right? So that's what those were the definitions for quarrelsome. Keep in mind it says, after disposed to quarrel in an often petty manner. A foolish man. I know y'all can think of some people in y'all in y'all everyday life that y'all see like that, man. All right, let's go back to the source. It says, one who is quarrelsome, one who is like licentious. One who is licentious. So let's go into the word licentious, man. Or licentious. All right? Let's get that pronunciation on point. Licentious. 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 Lacking legal or moral restraints. All right? Especially disregarding sexual restraints. So the second definition of a, of a fool is a motherfucker that can't control their nature. The most I gave us laws to subjugate our nature. All humans are animals uh, by nature. Human nature co uh, correlates with animal nature. So someone who is, uh, disregards sexual restraints, all right? Meaning that you have no self-control. You don't give a damn if she got a, a man. You don't give a damn about that wedding ring. She look good and you sue for her. You know what that makes you? A goddamn fool. So a motherfucker that likes to fight and fuck is a damn fool. Excuse my language, man. But I, I just, I'm just thinking about Jake. Like, this is nigga culture. The song, when you listen to almost every song, it's about balance and sex. Like Esau really engineered niggas. All right, definition two in the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, marked by disregard for strict rules of correctness. So that's why it says it goes to the scriptures in Proverbs. Let me see if I can pull it up right quick. Since, since I am in blue letter Bible, let me see if I can pull it up right quick. Something pertaining to a fool and stripes or something like that, you know? Because basically you can't correct a fool, man. It's like that, that slave on a plantation that always getting his ass beat, but he never learned. You know, it says Proverbs 17 and 10. A reproof enter more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. So when a wise man get reproved, he internalize it. Damn, the water, I ain't know why I was going off. You know, how about small shine broken thigh? You know what I mean? It might bother his ego a little bit, but he swallowed his pride, so to speak, and he takes the correction. But a hundred, but it says a proof going to a wise man more than a hundred strikes to a fool, which is indicative of the nature of a fool. This man can't be corrected. All right. So that's they, Esau created a nature of fools, not just the southern kingdom, but the northern kingdom too. But Jake is the head man. Like Jake out here doing this drill rap shit, but now Jake over there overseas doing that drill rap shit. Like I couldn't think of another sub genre to fucking uh, imitate. Besides the, the niggerous of nigger genres, man. Okay. So let me see if I can go back. Call, hey, it's beautiful, man. Call, I'm like, how about some other shy? All right. You know, something else I want to get into with the word fool. It's a, a, a key word. It says, a fool, this is the Jensenius Hebrew Chaldee lexicon. It says, a fool, foolish, either. Or as in more often the case as a, let me see if I skip over, opposed to the prudent. So the opposite of a prudent man is a foolish man. Then it says, includes the notion of impiety. It says, includes the notion of impiety. So I wanted to get the word for the definition for impiety. Let me see if I already pulled it up. All right. And I got it on the etymology dictionary. It says, impiety from the old French, impiété, impiety, wickedness. Or directly from Latin, impietatum, ir irreverence, ungodliness. Ungodliness. So how, what makes a man ungodly? He has no reverence for the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's how you're ungodly. Is that you have no divine laws to dictate your nature. So you go off your nature. So if you go back to the word fool... All right, if you go back to those key words for fool, it says one who is quarrelsome, which means like the fight. Then one who is licentious really means the one who has no sexual restraint. If you put those two together, you have basically the id. In psychology, they have something called the id, and that's like your basic instinct. There's only about what? Fighting and fucking. 
fighting and having sex. That's your primitive instinct. If I'm not mistaken, it goes back to fighting and sex. That's your basic instinct. So a basic nigga, a basic nigga is somebody that's subject to their basic instincts, which boils down to what? Fighting and sex. Now, what do you hear in black culture? Violence and sex. No sexual restraint. She got eight kids you still want to smash. She got a man you still want to smash. She got an STD you still want to smash. All right? Let me see. All right, impiety, because the definition for fool was impiety, and it says impiety, wickedness, directly from Latin, impietatum, irreverence, ungodliness, disloyal, backstabbing ass niggas. You know what I mean? Treason. All right, it says irreverent, but what are you irreverent to? The law, statutes, and commandments. All right, irreligious, <laughs> going back, because Jake really doesn't have a religion. Christianity, if you want to call it a religion, but it's basically a do without with religion, just be nice to people. That's what, that's what Christianity is. Put on a good front on Sunday, all right, and put on a good front in front of people, but you you a savage in real life. You you, you eat anything in real life because you're... you're, you're your plank commandment is God knows my heart. So Christians are basically fools. All right. Irreligious, lacking reverence to the most high from Latin impious, without reverence, irreverent, wicked, undutiful, unpatriotic, assimilated from not opposed of impious. It said plus pious. Let's see what pious means of or intended to show faith in the reverence of the supreme being. So basically impious goes back to somebody who's ungodly. They have no, they have no fear of Yahweh Shemal Shai, all right. They have no fear of Yahweh, so they don't believe they have to answer to somebody when nobody is looking. So the reason why they do all this crazy shit, because they don't have that in their conscious of what they call so-called karma. If I do this, it's gonna come back to me, all right. I have to answer to a higher power, but they don't have that thought process in their mind. That's why it says also in Psalms, in Psalms 14, a fool says in his heart, "There is no God." Let's fucking get there right quick. All right? Because even if Jake says there is a God or he believes in God, but you can say you can believe in God. If you don't follow his laws, then you don't believe in the most high. All right? Yep, Psalms 14. Psalms 14 and 1. It says... Uh, this is to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, the fool have said that in his heart there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abomin abominable works. There is none that do of good. And that top fool is Esau Edom, but he's made Jake his offspring in the spirit. That's why I said the righteous are more excellent than his neighbor, but the well of the wicked seducing him. All right. But with that, you know, I hope your brothers and sisters were edified as I was. You know, going into certain words. You know, sometimes the spirit might not be on you to go into certain heavier breakdowns or other matters. You could just go over certain things that you read over time just to get more understanding. You know, and that's balance, you know. But like I said, with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. I want to give all under glory to Yahweh Bashem Al Shah by Shem Rock Hakadash, the Bahana Apostles of Great Millstone Ruel. Peace and blessed house David the Elect, Ababa Baal, Kamasha Allah, Shalom.